Taylor Poston here with Bill Otter Ford, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you guys a pretty good in-depth look at the all-new 2018 Ford Expedition. Now, one of the first things you're going to notice about this vehicle on the outside is that there is a new sleeker, more streamlined design than the previous boxy versions of this vehicle. It's also going to have the quad LED headlights. These are going to be really awesome for giving you better visibility in a low-light driving situation. Now, this vehicle does come in three available trim levels, the XLT, the Limited, and the Platinum. And all three of those levels have the option for a max edition. Now what the max edition is, is just an additional just under 12 inches of cargo space tacked on here to the end. So the vehicle itself is going to be a little bit longer, but you're going to have that max edition cargo. Also, you have the option for an FX4 appearance package. That's really going to be driven towards performance. You're going to have the four-wheel drive, seven different drive modes. You're also going to have the off-road tune shocks and the patented electronic limited rear differential split system that adjusts power from side to side, as well as the all-road, which are thicker walled tires. Those are all designed to help give you better grip and help you stay in touch with the ground as you're moving over to terrain. Also, as you're moving over to terrain, you don't have to worry as much about damage to the undercarriage because it does come with a skid plate on the bottom to help protect the undercarriage from damage. Add on top of that a little bit more style than other performance vehicles, you're going to get the chrome plated running boards as well as chrome 18 inch plate wheels. So, once you move up from a XLT to a limited vehicle, you're going to get the ventilated and the heated seats, which are one of my favorite features because we all know that Texas heat is the hottest thing there is and there's nothing worse in that Texas heat than leather seats, but not anymore because you get into the vehicle and you turn on your ventilated seats right here. You've got them for both the driver and the passenger. You also have the heated seats. And what's even better is that the Limited starts off with the remote start system. So you double clap this button right here whenever you're inside the house or inside work so that you can get the vehicle started cooling off or warming up, whatever your AC settings on were on last. Also, while we're right here, I want to take a second to talk about all of the different technology in this vehicle. You're going to have the Sync 3 Sync Connect with available Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, as well as Wi-Fi connectivity for up to 10 devices. Now, the Expedition is an eight-seater family vehicle, so that means everybody can connect to their Wi-Fi device. Also, down here in this little hidey hole, you're going to have wireless charging capabilities now. There's a little wireless charging pad in there. If you don't have a wireless charging capable phone, don't worry, there are still six of these USB charging ports located throughout the vehicle. Also in the technology aspects of these vehicles, you are going to have the Ford Pass app, which does let you also remote start the vehicle, check your gas level, gas mileage, schedule your oil change appointments here at Bill Utter Ford, a bunch of really awesome things. Now once you move on up into the Platinum Edition, you're going to start having the Enhanced Active Park Assist. You push this button right here, the P in the steering wheel. And on your screen pops up the parallel parking, perpendicular parking assist. Perpendicular parking is really helpful trying to fit, especially the max edition into those tiny little parking spots at the Cowboy Stadium when you're trying to save money and park by yourself. Turn this feature on, turn the blinker on, drive slow, and it'll help detect a parking space that will fit the vehicle and help you back up into it. That way you can just pull right out and beat that traffic when the game is over. Now, maybe you didn't use this system and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? How am I going to back out of here? The 2018 Ford Expedition does come with blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So that is going to help you detect vehicles in your blind spot coming from either side as you're reversing out of a parking spot. Now that Bliss system is also going to give you the ability to detect vehicles in your blind spot as you're changing lanes. And even better is that feature is going to extend to trailers as well in the 2018 Ford Expedition. So you've got Bliss with trailer coverage as well as the Pro Trailer backup assist so you're not clogging up the boat ramps anymore. While we're talking about towing, I want to move into the performance side of towing. The 2018 Ford Expedition has 9,300 pounds of towing capacity, which outranks the 8,400 pounds of the Chevy Tahoe. Also, the 400 pound horsepower and 480 pound foot of torque beats out the Tahoe and the Yukon as well. Now, in terms of power, I do want to point out that you come standard with 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine, which comes standard with the auto start stop feature. I want to take a second and talk about this feature a little bit because it gets kind of a bad rap. Whenever you press the brake and come to a complete stop, the engine shuts off and it does this to save fuel. Combine this feature with the all new aluminum alloy body and you get the best in class 24 MPG's highway. And that is just incredible in a big SUV like that. If you're like, hey Taylor, I tried it out, I'm really not digging this feature, that's okay, I understand that as well. There is a button right here on the instrument panel that allows you to disable this feature right here. You push this button and the feature turns off. You do have to do that every time you start the vehicle unless you are towing. If you're towing it does automatically turn off. 
while we're on the subject of power, this vehicle comes with the 10-speed select shift transmission and the new sleek and stylish rotary dial right here in the center console. We don't have that thing sticking off the steering wheel column anymore. It's right here, sleek, it's out of the way. And right down there by that rotary dial is your drive modes. The train management system in this vehicle gives you five different drive modes. You push this button and look at your dashboard screen. You're gonna have normal, snowy and wet roads when you're hauling and towing a sport mode and an eco mode. So those are really awesome features to be able to try to use when you're driving. Also when you're driving, if you're driving down the road for long periods of time, you are going to have the adaptive cruise and stop and go capability available on these vehicles. What that means is that you're cruising and you have your cruise control on, the vehicle begins to detect vehicles in front of you, they automatically adjust you to match that speed at a safe distance from the vehicle. That vehicle comes to a stop, so does yours. That vehicle moves on, so does yours. It does all of this automatically. Last feature I want to point out up here is going to be the 360 camera view. There's a button on the dashboard right here on the instrument panel. You push this and you get a bird's eye view of the vehicle. Now this is only for when you're moving slow, like when you're trying to park or something like that. And it's going to show you four different cameras on the exterior of the vehicle. Both front and rear of these do come with camera washers to keep that view crystal clear. And you can see what's on the side of you as a bird's eye perspective as well as directly what's behind you. Now, I want to talk about comfort for the family because this is really a family vehicle. It's designed with family in mind and we know that you're busy taking the kids back and forth to all their different sporting events, school, all that kind of stuff. So we do have the best in class second and third row leg room in these vehicles, okay? In addition to all of that for the comfort for the family, you got 15 cup holders and everybody's going to be able to hear the radio because of the 12 placements of the B&O Play Premium speakers by Harman. Now, this has been a big thing coming in. I'm really excited about this. How many times have you allowed bigger kids to sit in the second row and the little kids to sit in the back because you didn't like the bigger kids climbing over the seat and you didn't want to have to take little Joey's car seat out to be able to get everybody out by sliding the seats back and down. Now we have the tip and slide seat feature. So you push the button, seat pops up, slide it forward. Everybody can get out of the vehicle. And then you just slide the seats back down. Everything's all good there talking about the cargo manager, we've got the best in class cargo capacity behind that second row back here. Lift up your lift gate. Some of these do come with an activated lift gate where you just have to run your foot under it to open it. Hold your seats down. You've got 104.4 cubic feet of storage right here. Really incredible. Also on the cargo manager is this handy little feature right here. I love this. Check this out, you guys. You pop these little tabs down. And you can set this here to help keep things in place. You can also lift it up and flip it over for even more storage capacity. You set it on those little hooks, then you've got all this extra space down here. You can stash some soccer balls, maybe dog leashes, dog treats. That's normally what's in my vehicle. And you just pop it up, pull it back down. And my absolute favorite, favorite feature in this vehicle goes majorly underappreciated, and it's this little cargo lift right here. Not noticeable to the eye, really, but it's kind of slanted upwards so that if you're on a slight incline like your driveway or you're even if you're flat, this is going to help keep things like your spaghetti jar, your soda bottle from rolling out of the vehicle because it's shifted during transit from the grocery store. Come on out and see us here at Billiter Ford. We've got the utterly lowest prices, backed by the utter low price guarantee. 2018 Ford Expedition starts out at just under $52,000. Right now, Ford does have up to $4,250 of rebates, including a $1,000 owner worth of cash. So be sure to come on out and see us get into the brand new 2018 Ford Expedition.